Imagine Pacific size of icy body was swiping over planet Earth and started to land on the planet by gravitational pull. It slid in and pressed down on South Africa and the Indian subcontinent, pushing, dragging, and tearing the surface of East Africa, Madagascar, and India, dragging all the way to the north. Lands north of the Indian Peninsula were pushed and piled up, and mountains and mountains formed up the Tibet Plateau and the Himalayas. At the same time, the east side of the icy body swiped over the India-Australia region, pressed and shoveled out Java Trench, see Region 3. Built-up resistance blocked the icy body's northbound movement. It started to bank southeast, rotating and rolling slowly. In the process of turning and rotating, a small part of it continued on in the north direction, flew over the Arctic, rolled over Hudson Bay, then landed at the Great Lake region, see Region 12. Another small part of the icy body dropped down on the Tibet Plateau and formed up Tarim Basin and surrounding mountains. Part of the icy cluster body, affected by Earth rotation, rolled all the way from Tibet to Black Sea to Europe, then crashed down in the Mexico Gulf region. Some small part of the icy body rolled over North Africa from east to west, leaving all kinds of landscapes. At West Pacific, Region 6, the core icy body started the final touchdown process. With the push of the Earth's rotating motion, pressure formed West Pacific rims and trenches. Mariana Trench was shaped at this time. The core icy body splashed down at West Pacific, and about half of the Pacific was pressure formed. Due to the large size of the icy body and the curvature of the planet's spherical surface, half of the icy body was still in the sky. It slid down and collapsed onto the East Pacific, Region 8, pushing, tearing, and shoveling lands from the Middle Pacific, Region 7, all the way to South America and Antarctica. This shoveling motion formed trenches, mountains on the west coast of both North America and South America continents, the Rockies, and the Andes piled up in a similar process of the Himalayas. The enormous amount of icy blocks, lands, mud, and lava trapped in between the falling icy body and the Earth's surface eventually squeezed and popped over the land blockade, burst out at Region 9, and formed the Drake Passage. Part of Antarctica was slice-cut from the bottom of Zealandia, then was torn off and pushed over to its current location. Antarctica might be two pieces of land merged together. With tension already built up at stage zero when the Indian subcontinent was pushed north, together with this violent, splashing, shocking force, Antarctica was suddenly torn apart and pushed over from the bottom of Australia to its current location, leaving the Great Tearing Gap, Region 90. The Atlantic Ocean region was already torn open at stage zero when the icy body slid over on Africa, with this splashing shock force when second half of the icy body splashed down at South America and Antarctica. The gap between Africa and South America expanded further, Region 10. Since then, icy body merged into planet Earth, and a newly transformed planet adjusts its way to a new equilibrium. Plate tectonics works its way on this transformed planet's surface. With all the ice body melting, oceans and continents are slowly moving and adjusting for new mass center. This large icy body did not impact planet Earth head-on at high speed. Otherwise, planet Earth might be shattered. Suddenly, all of these topics start to flash in front of your eyes. Asteroid impact, biblical flood, comet impact, dinosaur extinction, ice age, snowball earth, mass extinction events, lost continents, Atlantis, Lemuria, Mu, Younger Dryas, Pole Shift, Adam and Eve story, expanding earth, and on and on. Support our mission. Get a shockwave now on our website.